We are here in Hakuba, Japan for the first stop of the Freyad World Tour and we are going to talk about the run of Travis Rice. Travis is one of the most well-known snowboarders in the world and he has been given a wild card for this event in Japan. Uh, doing a contest line is similar to maybe doing a film line except I would say there's a bit more uh, pressure because this is one shot. You know, film line you might be able to go up and try it again. A big part of my process getting ready to drop in is I usually get super analytical, think about the line, think, 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 and then I like to take about a minute before I actually drop into a film line or contest line and just breathe and actually forget everything. That's, for me, that's been a trick, just and then you drop in. Love you all. One last binding adjustment, dropping in, a bit of wing gust. Cruising, thinking my line, and I just see this poor guy right here. Just hiked up, probably all of his stuff's off, and uh, yeah, he's not pumped that I'm about to blast him right there. <laughs> Wind did not help. It was funny, because this whole time right here, I'm laughing at what just happened. So it kind of put me in a pretty good mood for the run. Rolling into this, this was a pretty straightforward setup feature. Made it right down into this gully, had a nice big backside turn. And then this was a big feature for me. It's really tricky with the sun and shadow because your depth perception, depth of field is really tough in the flat light. It looked to me like there was this kind of pre-bump that I was gonna use as a bit of more of a tabletop. I'm planning on hitting this pre-bump and it wasn't until I got right up to it that I realized that it actually was a phantom bump and it was just some wind texture. And so I had to kind of last minute abort and just do a flat ollie off my tail, load up the tail super hard. And so that kind of changed the seven, the type of seven I, I did. A bit of a no grab, which, say la vie. 720 are really difficult tricks to land and they are really rare in the Freyad World Tour. My line was kind of screwed and I didn't have much of a backup plan if I didn't land the seven because I basically had to stay above this line. And you can see I'm able to then get to right here, which I have to make it to right here for me to continue to grease my run. Two third down the face, Travis was already like very high in the score. And this right here was the one part of my line where I was like, okay, take a breath and then find your hallway. Um, that, I know that I just have to go riders left with these tall trees on the ridge. And this thing takes me right to where I want to go. Right here on this bit of a tree. It's blind from here, but this is where, you know, visualizing again and again and again, days prior and doing your homework, makes it so when you're in this situation, you have confidence and trusting where you're gonna go. There is no rider out there that has sustained a professional career that is loose enough to jump off things that they don't know what's on the backside of. I think it's a big misconception of like, oh, he's got balls, he just jumps off shit, no. There's not longevity in that. This actually is probably the most, uh, I think the most technical part of my entire run. I was extremely psyched on this moment of the line because I was able to hop right into that tranny, just like that. So this right here really was option A for me. Uh, however, you know, there's a pillow right here. Uh, I thought this was gonna be actually twice as large, the setup time into this as it was. I wanted to try to take a little bit of a bigger line, but seeing how short it was, I aborted that last minute, came straight to the pillow, and just dropped it down in the tranny. And then, this was something I was also trying to line up. You can kind of see there's a double, a double takeoff here. It's really tough to tell scale and size when you're just looking at images and no one is on the face for comparison. And you know, I really thought that this bank was gonna be probably twice as big as it really was. Thought I was gonna have a little bit more setup time and I had a, a bigger trick planned. And, you know, coming out of this turn, it just happened so fast. I knew I was at least on my trajectory. And so I kind of just laid out a, laid out a Swanee backflip. Found the tranny I was looking for. And last but not least, bush destruction. It, it's kind of how it goes in Japan, especially in January. 
The judges agreed to give 95 pounds out of 100 and the only reason was because a few more riders were left to go but it would have been a 100 score point. It was one of the most complete runs in the Friad World Tour that we have ever seen. I think the other part of this kind of final uh, feeling of really gratitude, so many people put so much effort into holding this event here in Japan, coming halfway around the world, the local community, that it feels really good when it all works and everyone's efforts paid off. Oh God, oh, nice smiling. <laughs> <laughs>